Hey, my name is Marshall Street, and today we are recording live from my studio. This is my buddy Sam. What's up? <laughs> he has never been in the videos before, uh, but he is actually the game developer for this game. It's called the Demigod Project. Uh, you can find the link to the game in the description, so go click on that right now. Go download the game for yourself. We actually <laughs> just did an entire, probably about a half hour video, and uh, I found out I wasn't recording. Yes, yeah, so this is um, based off the uh, Percy Jackson book series. If you're unfamiliar about it, it's like, like a modern world with Greek gods and Greek uh, monsters. And then you are a demigod, and then you are you're, you're you and a bunch of other demigods that are half god, half mortal, have to go on quest, kill monsters, and stuff like that. Well, I found out that it has the World of Warcraft style of, character controller. Yeah, of character controllers. Originally, I was using the arrow buttons, but apparently, I can just use the mouse and hold down the right trigger. I I don't know. I've only played World of Warcraft like twice in my life. We're gonna talk to this fool. He says, "Hey, Percy." Cool. Hello, Mr. Percy Jackson. I hope you're getting well acquainted to the camp. Piss off, Chiron. <laughs> cheat code enabled. Uh, tell them. <laughs> tell so, them. <laughs> I made some cheat codes just to make my life more easier and make it more fun. Um, if you press the squiggly line right next to the uh, escape key, and then you can press, once you press that, it toggles the cheats on. Then you can press the number key. So one increases your health, two does nothing right now, three gives you, like, makes you run really fast. And then four through uh, zero all spawn different types of enemies. E. Maurice. Go over to the bleachers. All right. So that this is the combat is... arena. It's just meant to kind of fight however many people you want just for fun. You can, you can select however many monsters you want, however many, uh, uh, however many of each type of monster you like. I think you can spawn them just to fight, just kind of for fun. Oh, Matt, this is the guy. Yeah, Chimera. Is he the hardest monster in the game because he's got that projectile? Um, I would say the hardest people to actually beat, probably Medusa. I think her attack speed's higher than his, and so he does he does more damage per second. I think the only way to beat her is actually to, to keep walking into her, because if you're too close to her, she can't use melee on you. Because if you just stand right in front of her, she'll kill you before you can you can kill her. Yeah. So you have to actually walk forward into her and push her backward. That way the um, melee, that way she can't melee you. Oh, so. she's dead. I'll hold the world record for the archery game, just so we're clear. E, welcome to the archery range. Piss off, Lee. All right, we're going to do 50 meters because I'm a badass. Watch <laughs> this. Here we go. No, we got to go down. Watch this. First try. What? First try. There we go. Every time, baby. Oh, too easy. Made an easy game for babies. All right, leave. Now, last time these characters didn't load in. I don't um, remember. I think they were there. there. You just, oh, I just yeah. missed over them. Yeah. So eventually, you want to have the chariot race because this is like a chariot racetrack. Yeah. So I like to have chariot races be a mini game. It's just something I haven't gotten around to uh, implementing yet. Will the chariots be faster than the running, than the glitch, than the cheat code running? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Sue capture the flag. So I have played this game before, before this last time, but I've only played older versions. I haven't played the full new game like this. But you were saying that uh, that you're completely redoing the game. Yes. So I'm actually. I, I started this project as a freshman year, a freshman year of college, and I kind of, I worked really hard on it, but I didn't really know what I was doing, so I was yeah. kind of just building broken layers of the game, and they all kind of worked, but the more and more I built it, the more broken and glitchy it got, so I wanted to start over again from scratch and do it the right way and do it a little bit higher quality, so that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm working only on the character controller right now, which is like how movement at, how a movement feels pretty much, right? And I wanted to improve it a little bit from this and make it just a lot of fun to play with. Um, and then from there, next thing I'm going to do is start adding uh, combat and then adding pathfinding so the AI will be able to actually like navigate around objects to, fi or to attack you. And then with that, I'll, you know, 
I'll go to uh, so player movement, uh, combat. After that, I'll probably start. I'll probably actually rebuild the terrain and put uh, start putting the characters and, and assets and buildings and everything back into the into the into the camp. But I want to get the mechanics done before I start putting in all the three D models and making it look nice. I want to make sure it, it you know plays well and looks good. So. Oh, I'm not even attacking him. So many times I walk up and I think I'm attacking him, but I'm not close enough. Okay. You killed him. Cool. So notice your, your bar turned blue in the water, um, just for the people watching. So Percy Jackson, the, the protagonist of this game, is is the half. He's the son of uh, Poseidon, the sea god. So no reason water it heals him, game increases his power. So. In this case, his health bar turns blue and his healing goes up by about three times as fast. And I win. Wait, I lost? Hello, my jar. Cool. You're going to go over here. Oh, crap. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Amper. You must be Percy. This is a canoe dog. Feel free to go into the canoes or swim. So I did like the, the swimming aspect when i first got in i thought that the blue was gonna go down and i was gonna like loot uh because i thought i was holding my breath but then i remembered <laughs> i can't really die in water because it's my thing do some grand theft boat action <laughs> that's a glitch here if you if you go really hard in the yeah yeah you found it <laughs> There you can go, uh, you can, you can canoe around anywhere, and then now it lets you pretty much clip through anything. Definitely not intended, but it's a lot of different bugs, and then I never really <laughs> find them or fix them, so they kind of add up after a while. I, I I was hoping that I could put the sprint on. I think that would be an amazing feature <laughs> if I could just. just... You know, it would it would make sense to have like the the cheat code sprint work for running, canoeing. Uh, you know, climbing, whatever. It's just I, I I didn't program it like that, so it didn't. You know, it, it's not definitely something to do. Well, I might actually do that because I, I the only reason I really put this the super fast thing in the cheat codes was just for whoa. <laughs> Hi, Percy. This is our boy, the walrus. But it's no fault. Maybe you die. Cool. Now you said sometimes you can't beat the game at all. You can't beat this. So the rock wall is. It's it's everything's randomly spawned, right? So you, I you can determine a certain number of items, number of spikes, and the number of like lava, uh, I guess spouts spawn, right? But they spawn in random locations. So, so right now, like, uh, you it's not hard to do. But if you were to increase the numbers, like maybe like six or seven, there's, there's a possibility of them all spawning to the point where you can't go up without like climbing through the lava. So, um, but right now, you know, there's enough room for you to uh, maneuver around it. Or, or through it <laughs> in your case but come on will I make die. it oh uh, can I oh I'm, I'm already at the top yeah so I like coming up here between versions and stuff after I change the look of the game and kind of see how the camp looks overall I, I always enjoy doing that quite a lot also there's no fall damage um <laughs> Maybe I'll implement in the future. Maybe not. I'm not, I'm not sure if I really, if I want fall damage or not. So we're gonna do one last thing. We're gonna talk to Arius right here. I like. Now this is one that I like a lot. Uh, I've played it a couple times. I think throughout the different versions um, that you've had of this game. Uh, this is one of the things uh, that that you actually did let me play. Uh, while you were working on it. If I was to walk straight up you there, can. what would happen? Nothing? So I have, like, invisible walls that kind of force you to go the right direction, right? You nice. could you could try and walk around, but eventually there's only one path to take in these quests. Mm -hmm. I wanted the quest to be very linear and not really give the player a whole lot of choice, right? Just to make them simple, because it makes it a little bit quicker for me to design and make, make the quest if they're linear. The camp, I want to be open world and let you explore and do other stuff, right? But the quests... I want there to only be one way to do it, and that way it forces the player to kind of do it quickly. It makes my life a little bit easier. That way I can make more quests, because I don't have a whole lot of time to make all these open-world environments, you know. Yeah. Um, if I was going to ever be able to do the game on my own, I need to be able to make it 
each request not take forever to make. So, looks like my uncle Fernand. How are you talking when you're all the way over there, Grover? I remember this scene. I actually did like this scene. Oh my gosh, here she is. Okay, so uh... just remember the trick is with her is she can hit you, but you have to continuously walk and push her back. So you have to pretty much just walk into her. Otherwise, she, gets the, she will hit you and just take away your health fast and you can deal her damage. And you might have to run away for a little bit and let yourself heal. Because she doesn't heal, but you will heal. So if I were you, I'd run away now and kind of like... As long as you don't stop moving, she can't hurt you, really. Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm about to die. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> die. You can use the uh, one. Yeah, that's that... what I'm using. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, oh yes. And, that's kind of hard to beat this level feature. without cheat codes. Um, it, yeah, it is doable. I've done it, but uh, I think I'm probably probably the only person. I take for granted sometimes that because I made it, it I know how to do all the little secrets and stuff. And pretty much anyone else who plays it just can't beat the quest. I almost so. did it though. We got her down to 25 health. Yeah, I mean, it, it, if you were to do it without hiding a bunch, you'd really have to use cheat codes. So that's what I need to work on is just balancing her out so she's not such a hard boss to beat. And that's pretty much all the highlights of the game. One last thing I think we should show them is just kind of like just using the cheat codes to spawn a bunch of monsters. Yes. That's always a lot of fun. Um, one of the things I'm really proud of is the... Uh, one of the few things I think that the code is not horrible on is the combat system. So a lot of the... If you create monsters, they'll fight demigods and so on and so on and so forth, right? And so it's cool to see AI fighting AI, you know? So when you do the cheat code, like I said, four through zero spawn different types of enemies. Um, oh. And seven actually is the one for demigods. So if you spawn a bunch of demigods, they watch you fight the uh, monsters. I don't think the cheat code's activated right Can now. Can I turn it on? Yeah. Huh? Press the scroll again. Press it one more time. See if the other cheat codes work. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so just press a bunch of sevens, I guess. <laughs> it's really fun. If you, get, if you get a ton of them in there, you can actually, you can actually get to like, the point where it starts lagging. I think I got like, over like, a couple hundred guys. Oh, you're about to die, though. Fight. Fight my warriors to the death. Don't worry, I'll give you reinforcements. But then I'll also give them reinforcements. Oh my gosh, they're huge. <laughs> Oh wow, he's they got a lot to handle. That's gonna be it. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to, to say about the game? I know we covered a lot last time, yeah. uh, but not so much this time. <laughs> no, I mean if you all get a chance to play, hope you enjoy, and uh, feel free to download. Let me know in the comments anything uh, you want me to work on, and I'll be more than happy to take a look at it. Yeah, the link to the video game will be down in the description. The link to Sam's YouTube channel. Go check that out. Uh, it will be down in the description as always make sure to like the video comment subscribe they say stay in your lane boy lane boy we go where we want to they think this thing is a highway highway but when they be like tomorrow they think this thing is a highway if it was our way we'd have a tempo change every other Time change, cause our minds change And what we think is good I wasn't raised in the hood But I know a thing or two about pain And darkness, if it wasn't for this music I don't know how I would've fought this Regardless, all these songs I'm hearing Are so heartless